The program is Outside the Book, coming to you from the Carol Nicely Center in Bowling Green. It's our annual installment from the Southern Kentucky Festival of Books. I'm Barbara Deeb, your host, and for the next half hour, we'll be bringing you the author's outside the book. We start with Jim Madison, who's uh, by nature a graphic artist, but uh, he's just composed a book or written a book along with, uh, I want to get her name right, Melissa Duke Mooney, who's no longer with us. She is no longer with she us. She passed away, but in, in the middle of the book. Yeah, yes, in the middle, in the middle of, the book. of the book. And there's also, um, I have a, a partner too, uh, Connie Collinsworth. We worked on the book together. We are a print mafia. The, you are the print mafia. Yes, That's right. We got mafia. the print mafia here. Jim, thanks for joining us. You're a Bowling Green native. And as I mentioned, you are a graphic artist by, by nature. But you decided to contribute to this book, The ABCs of Rock. Let's talk a little bit about print mafia, first of all. Okay. What is that? It is, we are a design firm. We print what we design. Okay. And that's, we don't do anybody else's artwork. We just do and print our own stuff. Okay, so in, in this crazy world and with so many options out there, you've kind of carved a niche for yes. yourself because yeah. it's your original stuff that you do. Yes, it's, we're real lo-fi. We're, 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 we are what you call cut and paste. So we manipulate images, you know, just... Exacto knives and copy machines. Well, if you look at this book, The ABCs of Rock, there's a lot of images that are manipulated. And, but there, there's the written word and then there's the visual word, if you will. So that presents a challenge in and of itself, doesn't it? Um, yes. Yes, it does. I, we try to, um, I don't know, say a thousand words with the with a image. Well, it's kind of like television, right? You know, you've got the visuals that often do the speaking for you. So you try to say a thousand words with one image. So that means that that image is extremely important. Yes. It yes. is. So it takes an editorial eye. How do you do that? Um, we just, well, I guess we just know what we're doing. Does that make sense? Like we listen to the music <laughs> yes. and we try to, um, you know, soak it in and then put our Put, our, put an image to it. Now, in the book, you've got the ABCs of rock, so you've got some of the some of the, the stars, if you will. I noticed uh, one of my faves is Elvis Costello. Yes. So um, how do you take somebody like an Elvis Costello or an REM and make that image speak to what they are? Well, we try, We try. sometimes we break it down into songs. So like the REM is the, the man in the moon type, you know, but you mm -hmm. want to be... Um, you know, they have a huge career, a big REM fan. So um, it just, it's hard. It's, it's really hard to do that. And the bands you love the most are the hardest ones to make that come through. So did Why I is that? that because you, you're, you're afraid you're not going to pay them the right homage? Yes. yes. Yeah? Yeah. But now, do you have to be listening to their music when you're making that image? Um, it helps. It helps. We don't do it like all the time, mm -hmm. but you know it plays. It plays in our head the whole, the whole so time. So it certainly does inspire. Yes. It certainly does inspire. Yes. Talk to me about graphic images these days, because we've got a generation, and and I suspect the, the demographic for this would be that generation, whatever we want to call it. Um, where we're so inundated with images that it's almost difficult to decipher what we're seeing. So that speaks even more to the importance of what you're doing. Um, yes, I mean, there's, it's kind of a difference between like, you know, digital and like lo-fi. You know, we're more on the, the lo-fi um, back when, you know, before computers, um, you know, it's a lot easier to design now. And that's kind of what we go, what we go back to. And I think in that, our stuff stands out so any kind of distress any kind of pattern that we have in our in our artwork all the lines none of its digital so so you know ours is ours is real it's not baked in the computer now there are some amazing people doing stuff with computers mm -hmm. we just don't go that go that route do you think that at some point you will um no no. No. Okay. I mean, we, we, of course, we use the computer helps us get our artwork out there. So when we do like a poster and it's silk screen, you know, we scan and it, you know, then it turns into a computer image. But we right. don't like take images, manipulate them in the computer and then print them out on a printer. Mm -hmm. Ours are all hand silk screened and, and everything's just, you know, like cut, paste, you know. 
And in that sense, because it's original, your stuff, uh, from what I hear, stuff uh, done by Print Mafia, is becoming quite collectible. Well, we've been um, we've been doing posters and graphic design for 15 years mm -hmm. now. So we were on the ground level. On you know, did a lot of stuff for bands like. We did stuff for the White Stripes before they, you know, blew up right. and turned into what it is. So we are part of that, you know, part of that history, I guess. That's so, exciting. Yeah, so it is. So why decide to do a book, though? You know, you got the posters out there. Uh, did did the author come to you and say, "Help me do my images"? Um, yes, yes, she did. And we, and me, Melissa, and Connie, we just we just connected. So we, you know, grew up listening to the same stuff. So we, and, and we were all visual people. Mm -hmm. I remember um, like listening to the music was uh, like seeing those album covers. You know, I saw the album Jump. covers before I listened to the music. Mm -hmm. So I connected that. So that's what we were trying to do w with this book. And she wanted, she did, uh, Melissa came up with the idea with she wanted a ABC's book for her kids. And so there yes. you go, the yeah. ABC's yeah. of rock. She could not find this book. So we made that book. You know, one of the great illustra album illustrators recently died, uh, yes. the guy who yeah. did Led Zeppelin and yes. some of those. But those are iconic. Yes. Do you ever hope to get to that iconic status? I, I hope so, because I know, like, growing up, what it, what it, what it meant to me to see, um, you know, to see an album cover, to see, like, Eddie from Iron Maiden and what, it, like, how it affected me. So with this kids' book, some of these kids are seeing these images from these bands that we did, and that's hopefully when they get to be adults, but man, I had this book when I was a kid, because I do that all the time. Carrying we, on the yes. legacy. And when we do go to schools and sign books, whenever we open up to the KISS page, I mean, the kids scream. You know, some of them are scared to death, and some of them already know who it is, and you know, it creates that memory forever. Yes. Continued success to you. It's called the ABCs of Rock, the illustrator Jim Madison representing the print mafia. Thanks. Yes. Thank you.